Yeah, I've got a digester in the call this morning, so I'm going to talk about the green investment bank, which is of course a relatively small portion of the, of the, of the overall budget, coming in at a billion pounds. Um, but I think it sort of emphasises the Enron nature of, uh, of, of the budget. Um, it's, I mean, the, the, the investments are going to be focused on offshore wind, a, a, a pretty risky investment. Um, and, and I think they're going to be structured in a similar way to, to the recent venture capital fund. And here we, we've got a, a, a graph, I don't know if you can see, on the, on the left-hand side, uh, there's a little green, mostly green, uh, item, uh, which shows uh, the investments in this uh, recent, uh, recently closed uh, venture capital fund um, from the, from the government, which was £74 million, which is a small fund. Um, at the bottom there, uh, that's, that was the starting value of the fund, so me. at the bottom there, if you can see it, is the, the, the current value of, of the fund. That, that's, that's, that's five million. So um, I think the government has demonstrated its wonderful ability to, to destroy capital in, uh, using, using, using the sort of the, the investments in the market. Um, so I think one would be concerned that they might achieve uh, similar uh, wonderful results um, with their green investment back. So you can see the, the starting figure, which is uh, around two billion. They said they will invest up to one billion from uh, the sale of mature uh, assets. Um, I wasn't able to. I'm, maybe someone in the room is is, is familiar. With that. I understand that that's going to come largely from the sale of the high-speed rail link, um, which costs something over five billion um, to uh, to develop, um, and they're going to sell it for around two billion. So that's another example. I think. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know the details, but that would seem to me another, another example of capital disruption uh, on a very large scale. Anyway, so we're well, just <laughs> hypothesise what might happen to, to this two billion fund um, if they invest it as efficiently as they and effectively as they did in the regional venture capital funds. Um, it would obviously go to a, a, a sum of less than 150 million. Um, uh, obviously, that that would be of concern to uh, the, the, the public. Um, but, of course, they're offsetting this by emphasising the jobs creation of them. It's going to create hundreds of thousands of, of, of jobs. Um, um, it strikes one somewhat similar to the policies undertaken by the Soviet Union in the uh, 60s and 70s. Um, yes, you can have absolutely full employment. It's quite easy to have full employment. Here in, in Britain we could do it. We could have lots of green jobs. We could simply uh, ban all mechanised farming and ban agricultural inputs. That would uh, enforce that would, that would force people. Uh, to go and uh, work with plows on the, on the land, um, it mean that many people would be many more people would probably be employed doing that. But the destruction of wealth and destruction of uh, quality of life would be considerable. Um, now, I, I'm obviously being a little bit facetious, but um, this I think does give you a sense of the thinking that goes behind um, some of these uh, policies. Now, to mitigate um, this, uh, the, the possible losses, uh, the government is proposing. Uh, feed-in tariffs uh, to uh, electricity generation. Um, it's, pro oh, it's actually they're, 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 they're there except for uh, possible questions about uh, uh, the legitimacy of the state aid. Um, they're also uh, proposing a, 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 a price support for the, for, 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 uh, the carbon trades. Um, so they're unhappy that uh, that, that uh, the uh, value of carbon being traded in the marketplace under the emission trading scheme in the European Union is, is too low uh, to, to, to give enough support for, uh, for offshore wind and the like. Um, uh, so, so they're proposing to, to, to set, a, set a base for that, around the 30 pounds uh, a ton. Um, unfortunately, the um, estimates of the cost of offshore wind in Denmark <laughs> suggest that um, the cost per tonne of carbon uh, saved around seventy pounds a ton. So um, even that price support, which would obviously uh, come out of uh, taxes in another way, um, would be um, would not would not would not do the job. But those price supports also would necessarily be sort of off balance sheet. Um, so again, we've got that would come back to, to sort of annual accounting and and, uh, and and indeed the, the problems we've had over the past few years with uh, banks um, uh, putting assets off balance sheets um, and, and thereby uh, destroying capital. Um, so that's a quick summary of my assessment of the, of the uh, implications of, of the way the government is thinking about uh, green investment and green jobs. Uh, Thank you.